we'd sit down in that bar and he would just put those things up. Every night we were shooting in Tucson. I mean, you know, he'd have his six or seven martinis, whatever. And, <laughs> up, early day tomorrow, get up, walk a straight line out. And wow. everybody, everybody would be like, how the hell do you do that? <laughs> Well, Will Penny was uh, Chuck Heston's very favorite role of all the movies he did. He had been in such epic dramas as an educated man, and here he can't even read. He wants yeah. uh, Joan Hackett to teach him how to read, and he loved that part. Yeah, and he was great. He was great in that movie. He really was. He, he was so... Uh he just was so believable for me, mm -hmm. you know. And I, I, you know, it was amazing because there were experiences that I had with Charles Heston doing that film, where I, I got really emotional, and I didn't quite understand what was happening. I was getting so wrapped up in the story that I, you know, I would, I would cry sometimes, you know, but and hide it. Would never let anybody know that I was crying, you know. In these really emotional scenes, you know, I was embarrassed that I was crying because I was a kid, you know. It's like. Oh, God, I'm glad my brothers aren't here to see this. <laughs> well, Bruce Dern must have been pretty frightening in uh, that film. Bruce Dern actually choked me out one night <laughs> while we were shooting. He choked me so hard in the scene that I actually had to go to the emergency room. <laughs> you know, yeah, he was, a, he was definitely a method actor. What was that scene? <laughs> it was the scene where the Rawhiders, uh, Donald Pleasance and, and, and Bruce Dern and... Uh, I can't remember the other actor. Merry Christmas! <laughs> they came and they, they took over the cabin where we were. And so while I, I, I come running out of the bedroom and, or the little, you know, lean-to kind of room off to the side is with a blanket in between and I come running out like, what's going on? And he grabs me and he literally just choked me out like I couldn't, couldn't get a breath. And, he just kept it going, and I'm like, you know, I'm tapping out, you know. So, mm, mm. so the minute he let go, then of course I really did cry. Yeah. You know, wow. Scared to death. And I got offered a lot of movies after that movie, and I turned them all down. You know, I just turned a lot of work down. I just, I wanted to be home with my brothers, and you know, mm. it was one of those things where, I mean, I, you know, to this day, I, I'm always afraid to say what I turned down, but I turned down, you know. The Cowboys with John Wayne, and I turned down the Reavers with Steve McQueen, and Bless the Beasts and the Children. I mean, they kept coming till I was about 13 years old, and just turned everything. Mm -hmm. Well, you've certainly changed that around because you've done hundreds of movies yeah. uh, since then. Yeah, one of the busiest character actors out there. Pretty good, you know. And in some top movies too, with Taken. No, yeah, you know, Napoleon Taken, Dynamite. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, and, and, a, and a couple of westerns along the way. I did uh, September Dawn. Mormons, do your duty! Jehovah created me! With uh, Robert Preston? Oh, that was September Gun with Robert Preston, and that's an amazing human being if I've ever met one. Mm -hmm. was one he, is, he was incredible. Was what just, made him so incredible? Just his whole delivery, everything about the way he worked was just, it just smelled of movie star. He was a movie star. It was just, there was no other, you know, you've worked around him or you've been around him. My father directed Breakout and Break Hard Pass. My father, you know, Charles Bronson was a movie star. Mm -hmm. Robert Preston was a movie star, but he was much more, uh, he was much more theatrical and much more outgoing. And God almighty, that man could drink. I mean, he could drink. We'd sit down in that bar, and he would just put those things up. Every night we were shooting in Tucson. I mean, you know, he'd have his six or seven martinis, whatever. And up early day tomorrow, get up, walk a straight line out. And wow. everybody, everybody would be like, how the hell do you do that? <laughs> must be, that must be water. Yeah. Must be faking it. But his stories were amazing, too. Well, and you have a, uh, a series now. Dream Corp LLC, it's an adult swim show, and it's an amazing show. It's actually... It's animated, too. Well, it's half animated, and it's rotoscope animation, which is really kind of an unusual thing that apparently there's never been... As, as old as rotoscope animation is, which is where they film you and then they just draw on top of you. Mm -hmm. So it's not the kind like they did uh, where they put the suits on you. you you're wearing your, your clothes, and... 
you know, it's the strangest thing. Like there's a guy standing behind me with the fan. I'm, you know, he's in the shot, you know, and they're like, don't worry about it. He's going to be drawn right out. Oh, it's Adult Swim, which is the Cartoon Network at Night, which mm -hmm. is a Turner Network channel. You know, uh, it's one of their mm -hmm. many, it's under that umbrella. And um, what's the premise? You're Dr. Roberts. I play Dr. Roberts, and it's basically a doctor who has, has had his heyday in Silicon Valley. He's now kind of fallen from grace, and he has like a, a little one-stop shop in a mall where if you come in, he can fix your problems by dream therapy and, and in the dreams is when it becomes animated and I have two like you know USB ports on my hand and I literally go out with you and we go into your dream together and I walk you through all kinds of the, your demons and usually your demons are just too overwhelming for me to deal with so I'm constantly running away and trying to you know he's just barely he's just a couple floats short of a parade but he's getting there you know uh -huh. it's it's fun it's a lot of fun and it's Produced by John Krasinski and, and uh, Stephen Merchant. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's a good, mm -hmm. a good group of people. Well, I'm glad uh, I bumped into you while you were walking your dog yeah. as I'm doing my morning hike up Runyon Canyon. All the time. We see each other. Because uh, you were a great guest. And yeah. I'm, uh, I do love your performance in that whole film. Yeah, Bill thank Penny you so much. is one of the best. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for being yeah. here. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank, thank you. you. My name is Rob Word, and we love bringing these programs to you. We've got a lot more scheduled coming up. We post a new one every single week, and we want you to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.